Adeniji under bridge. They took that way and parked under the bridge. It was pitch dark. They, they brought me out and they started using knife, cutlass, different things on me. Now I'm fortified. I'm an African. So, of course, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't take anything for granted. I don't take chances. So I'm fortified. So when they saw that, the stabbing attempts on my body, the knife was not entering, their dagger, their kitchen knives, their cutlass, they tried to cut me. About three of them held my neck, another two held my hand to the back, and they put, you can see lacerations on my neck, they put knife on my neck to try and, you know, slash my neck and slaughter me, but it wasn't penetrating. So I just had the leader telling them in in Arusa that they should lie me down and use their boots. About three of them were wearing army uniforms. So... They should use their boots to uh, crush my head. So about six of them held me hand, leg, and two were using their boots to hit my eyes, hit my nose. They just wanted to knock me out. But, you know, so after some minutes, I just realized that I was getting dizzy and I was about to, you know, faint. And once that happens, these people will take me and do what they want. So I reached out for my bag, which was on the floor, and nobody was noticing. They didn't notice it throughout all these things. <coughs> I use that see blood from my mouth. I'm even bleeding. I'm even bleeding internally. So I took out that knife with my right hand and I started, you know, waving it in different directions. So he caught one of them in the tummy. His tummy got busted, one in the neck, another one in the eye, and they started bleeding profusely. So their leader was telling them that should be they have gotten all these remaining ones who are asleep. Let them carry them and go and deliver them. They should leave me that at the end of the day I will die there with what they have done to me. So they all rushed off and this is me, bleeding on my throat, my nose is broken, my eye inside, something is fundamentally wrong, my eyes, my mouth, I just want to, you know, clean up and then go to the hospital for medical attention. People, it is real. All the people I just talked about were northerners. These people have entered even Lagos states. They have entered Lagos. They have penetrated Lagos. They picked me up. From that Lekki Ikoyi roundabout, that Ikoyi that links Lekki and um, Ikoyi, that bridge, that's where they pick me up. That kind of high bro environment, that kind of prestigious, luxurious environment is where these people picked me. Now, my pity is to all the about eight other passengers who, who they've carried wherever they're carrying and they're going to die definitely. Guys, you just have to be careful out there. That's what this is about. I'm still grateful for for life. <laughs>